so Jeff Bezos um, pretty much I personally believe is the front runner uh, now to uh, take over the Washington Commanders um, pretty much a source that came through the Washington Post which he owns the Washington Post he bought several years back said that he hired the same firm that uh, pretty much managed the purchase of the Denver Broncos as well as the Carolina Panthers his company called Allen and Company so this, uh, this company is actually an investment firm and typically what investment firms do when they have lar large uh, mergers or acquisitions they look at the assets, they look at the, the, um, the challenges, vulnerabilities, um, uh, the finances, uh, the holdings, trades, pretty much everything if they were to buy or merge with a particular company or buy another company. Um, the same, this particular company also managed um, the LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn merger with Microsoft. If anybody knows, Microsoft actually owns LinkedIn. Um, they also did the Verizon Yahoo deal, which I'm very familiar with. Uh, I was actually uh, supporting um, Verizon Media Deal Services uh, when they when they actually uh, did this, and then uh, they did they do a couple um, they did a couple uh, PayPal, uh, Chewy, uh, Walmart, uh, and purchasing Jet.com, and of course Time Warner when Time Warner buying over AT and T. So they've managed quite a bit of these mergers and acquisitions. What does that mean? Does 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 that mean that Jeff Bezos needs to? needs the money no he needs he wants to make sure the money's right before he moves forward with this uh, essentially an investment because it is, it is an investment and what we're seeing is what we're seeing because it, 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 listen to me don't get me wrong Jeff Bezos still still has money right he's a fourth richest person in the world um, fourth richest person person in the world let me make sure I'm, I'm right on that yeah fourth fourth richest person in the world um, he has actually sorry third third richest person in the world it's actually Bernard Arnault who actually owns Hennessy and Louis Vuitton it's crazy the fact that you know someone who owns Louis Louis uh, Louis Vuitton and and Hennessy is is the wealthiest person in the world he's from France his net worth is 100, 185 billion Elon Musk is 178.9 uh, 9 billion um, he took a hit simply because he bought Twitter um, and Jeff Bezos is uh, 121.4 billion. Bill Gates 115 billion, and so on and so forth. Funny the that the top ten, uh, four or five of the top ten people are executive board ch chairman of the wealthiest people in the world. But I digress. So he, so what? Uh, people think that Jeff Bezos stepped down from Amazon. He has more than enough money to buy this team. He didn't step down from Amazon. Yes, he stepped up. So he relinquished his. Pretty much relinquished his uh, responsibilities as CEO to someone that he felt he trusted, or he feels he trusts, and then he made himself executive, uh, the executive board of the chairman. So there's the the CEO, the CEO um, reports to, or just account, is held accountable to a board. This this board of people, um, they assess where the company's going, and this board can ultimately vote or rule uh, Andrew Jassy, the current Amazon CEO, out. So. He has more than enough money. He's, he's not detached from Amazon. He's probably more invested in it because he owns, you know, most stock. He owns twenty percent of the stock, so he owns, you know, he owns uh, uh, pretty much, you know, most of most uh, the shares in Amazon. And even though his wife got twenty five percent, he kept twenty five percent of the stocks. So when he left, he still is majority owner of the share, so he owns Amazon, even though he's not the CEO of Amazon. So he has more than enough money. What I think, th there's nothing stopping him at this point. Uh, I think this is the move that uh, someone who wants to buy a franchise makes before they pull the trigger on a franchise. I, I also go on to say, I go on to say that this as well too. Um, I go on to say the like NFL franchises, sports franchises, are lucrative, right? Uh, when it comes to making money, uh, the sustainability. Um, you know, uh, you don't really, you don't really take a hit as as, a, as if you own a franchise in the league, the NFL, the NBA, um, NHL. Um, you know, the sports are what are what reign supreme. Um, and if you look at another person who's on this list who is a owner, Steve Ballmer. If you guys don't know, Steve Ballmer actually started Microsoft. Um, he co-founded Microsoft with Bill Gates, and he's number seven on the list as the wealthiest person in the world. He owns the Clippers, so. Um, you know, and he's a big basketball fan. Um, he's tangible. You know, he lo he loves. <laughs> if you watch him in the sidelines, that's his that's his seventh. If you want to see the most tangible, wealthiest person in the world, 
then you watch the Clippers game and you'll see Steve Ballmer there, seventh world, seventh richest uh, person in the world, and he actually, um, he you know he owning the franchise has been been amazing for him. So uh, for Jeff Bezos, there's nothing stopping him now. This is the next step. Uh, owning a franchise is is ideal. Now there were they did say there's some other people that were coming in touring the facility and whatnot. Believe it or not, Josh Harris who owns. Um, who owns the owner of the New Jersey Devils. He's a managing partner for the 76ers. Um, he is interested as well, too. His net worth, I think, was around, yeah, his net worth uh, as, is around, I think, maybe $10, $11 billion. Um, so nowhere near the, uh, no, I think last time I checked was $19 billion, but they're saying you know, $7.5 billion in 2021. I think it was $19 billion. Nowhere near close to Jeff Bezos. Uh, he can match any offer that Snyder wants to, you know, um, Snyder wants to, uh, uh, you know, sell it, sell the, sell the, um, the franchise for. I think the franchise is worth a lot. Um, it's a franchise. Washington, the Washington uh, Commanders continues continue to and always make money. Um, they're they they make money consistently. Make money. It's it's the nation's capital. There's certain franchises, no matter how bad they're doing, their markets are always doing well. Like the New York Giants, they can do horrible, but it's New York football, and they always do well. Uh, Dallas. Um, you know, there's some franchises that no matter what, they always do well and they're always sought after franchises. So I expect Jeff Bezos to um, to be the next owner of of the Washington Commanders. It'll be another lucrative event uh, venture for him. Um, it'll be interesting to see how he owns and how he connects with players. Um, you know, sometimes guys in their lives they take a new venture on, they get they get new life. Um, this may be a new venture, and he and I'm pretty sure he sees how some of these these owners of football football franchises, basketball franchises are living, and say, "Hey, that's not bad." <laughs> you know, I don't work, I don't have to work as hard as for my money because um, the players do it for you. I don't work as hard for my money as you know some uh, 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 some other some you know um, some uh, other things that he's doing. Right, it's less risk, and there's less risk in sports. So. Um, yeah, uh, I, I expect Jay, Jeff Bezos to move in, um, you know, and swoop in. I'm not sure when Dan Snyder said he's looking, him and his wife are looking to sell the franchise. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if we hear something about Jeff Bezos being the next owner for the Washington Commanders.